doing a lot of traveling and um i am um i i live on the east coast but i'm on the west coast uh so um it's um it, I knew it was early, and and I've been on the phone already. But um, anyway, it's good to <laughs> good to, good to say hello. Where, where, what part of the country are you in? Uh, Safety Harbor, Florida. Oh, you're in my yeah. backyard. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I live in St. Petersburg, so yeah. um, so um, I, I I had to come to Los Angeles to do this for uh, the, to do our interview. So okay. Uh, so anyway, we, it's good to good to say hello, yes, and I just want to. Also, maybe just welcome anybody out there because, you know, Pitch Investors Live is is a really innovative new app that we're very excited about. Um, we've got investors like myself looking to meet with people like yourself that are that have ideas and products and businesses and services. You get a chance to, to pitch investors. Um, today, it's me. And um, some days, um, you never know who it is. But one of the beautiful things of Pitch Investors Live is that when you and I are talking, there's also other investors out there listening. And we, you know, we've documented that deals have been financed um, from people watching, not just taking the pitch. So that's that's right. why what my goal here is as a as a guide to helping um, helping me understand your business model and, and, and ask questions. I'm also here kind of as a, as a guide for the rest of the folks that are out there possibly thinking of any questions that they may have also. Right. So anyway, good to, okay. good to meet you by, um, by uh, our app here and, um, and, um, and go ahead and give me your, give me your uh, pitch. Look forward to uh, hearing all about it. I've seen some pictures and stuff, but um, looking forward to hearing from yourself directly. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Uh, first off, I just want to thank you for this opportunity. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I just really want to thank you for this opportunity. Sure. Um, so basically, uh, Relax Sling is located here in Safety Harbor, Florida. Uh, we've uh, launched um, you know, at the beginning of the year. Uh, we actually just recently um, launched our website. Um, and since doing this, it's really taken off. So just to kind of give you a little bit of background with who we are and what we do, uh, Relaxling, uh, it's kind of play on words. So our business, uh, it's here to innovate and revolutionize the traditional playground swings. The, the product is, uh, it's an attachable hammock that attaches to the playground swings, the traditional style playground swings. Um, it's easy to hook up, take down, um, it's machine washable. So the, the idea and concept of this product is to actually um, create more of a safety net for the children as well as the adults. So it's not just for children. It's very, you know, it, it's for adults and then those with special needs as well. Great. So let me take you back in time. What was the, what was the playground swing like for you when you were growing up? I remember. <laughs> it's a long time ago so um yeah fond memories though yeah so moving forward you know to when you had brian and nick um i'm sure the playground swings really didn't change much did they nope okay so that's where we come into play we like i said we've revolutionized and um innovated the playground swings with this product um, it's like I said, it's created a safety net for the children. Um, it's eliminated the, the contact of the germs that the child will come in uh, with, you know, environmental, human, um, it has a three point harness. So it really secures the child as well. Yeah, I, I remember when, when, when my kids, and thank you for uh, knowing the names of my, my two boys, when they were younger, I bought one of those backyard um, redwood swing sets and, mm -hmm. and and so we had a it was it was a you know really cool setup in the backyard for the kids that they, they were right. on there you know come home from school and they loved hanging out on it running up the steps and swinging and all the, right. the tire swing and the this and the that mm -hmm. so yeah uh, definitely uh, fond memories of of the swing sets and then right. i currently my new home that i live in today there's a park right up the, you know, with you know, a couple hundred yards up the road and it's got all kinds of swing sets and stuff and there's families out there all the time. Yeah. So yeah, um, you know, a great, 
it, it seems like things haven't changed much in the world's no. game sets over the years, right? I, if You're I go back 40, right. 40 years ago, um, <laughs> even, you know, even longer when I was a child, this seems like it, they're exactly the same. Right. They, they really are. Not much has changed. You may be the style. Um, what I see more of now are the plastic ones for the children that have special needs. But then again, you know, that's not, that's not very safe. You know, it's hard plastic. Um, so the, the children, um, you know, if they have, you know, a, a specific kind of condition, they can easily get hurt, you know, with a, a jerking kind of motion. Um, their parents, you know, would have to, you know, get them in and out. Um, it's, it's just not safe. Um, as well as the, the amount of germs that, you know, come into contact onto those swings, you know, no one's going to carry around, a a container of, of bleach and Clorox to wash it every single time with our product, you simply hook it up, score carabiners, a couple snaps. Um, you take it down afterwards, take it home and wash it. It's completely reusable. Nice. And yes. so you've launched the site. You, um, do you have any kind of, is there any IP that you can, you know, any kind of patenting you can do in this category or, um, in actually patented um and we got our patent back uh december 31st 2018 what kind of patent is it um it's patent pending right now um it's a provisional patent it's a provisional okay yes um because you you do know that a provisional basically gives you you know when from the date of application i think it's one year in order to really go do additional research to see what else is is out there if, if you right. if, if, is if you've done any kind of other research, I don't know if you did this yourself or you have had lawyers involved, but have they done any kind of um, any kind of searching to see if there's anything similar to, such that the patent might end up in a utility fashion or a design fashion or something like that? Um, good thing you asked that. Uh, we've done a lot of extensive research regarding our product. There's nothing else like it on the market um, as of now. Uh, we don't have a competitor. Um, it is just us. Um, I know, you know, it's very similar to the hammock, but it's not, it's not a hammock. Um, it is for the playground swings. So um, our, our market is, is very wide. Um, so yes, I, we've done a lot of uh, information, you know, informational research regarding that. Um, we, there is nothing out there. Okay. I mean, if, if you did not have a swing set at home, is there anything that you can set it up? You know, can you put it on, a, a, on tree limbs that are positioned properly or do you recommend against that? Um, you can, um, if you have the chains, you, you know, you just fasten them to the swing um, and then you just hook up the, the, the carabiner hooks to the chains. Okay. Um, then you can also snap the bottom as well to secure it. Um, if you have the little swing bottom, um, you can use it without the swing bottom. It's the extra security measure where we prefer you to have the swing bottom. Gotcha. Okay. So it's it's ideally situated because you need the chains because this hooks onto the chains. Yes. Okay. Correct. So it, so it's it's not a total turnkey for somebody at home, but they, so they'd have to have some other uh, things. But um, um, and, and, and then it's an outdoor product only primarily it's, um, is there... you can use it indoors if you were to have, you know, a, a concept in indoors, you can definitely, you know, include that. Um, you know, let me kind of paint a picture for you real quick. You know, your children, when you, or your grandkids, when you take them to the park, you know, this, this product, um, is great for you, you know, as a grandparent, you know, you, you're able to kind of keep a more of an eye on them spend more quality time with them at the park um so the you're able to relax in the adult one while your your grandchild is you know eating a snack in the sling or just you know swinging in general uh, maybe they're uh, you know playing on uh, another piece of equipment on the playground you know so they're 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 close to you. You're able to relax. Um, you just, you have a lot of, uh, you know, variations with the product. Great. Now tell me what, tell me about sales or, you know, you mentioned your website's launched. Are you selling any yet? Or what's the, what's the, yes. uh, what, give me, give me that. And what does it sell for? Let's talk about the re, the retail side of this now. 
Okay. So the retail side for the child is 60. For the adult, it's 65. If you need the harness for the adult, it's 75. Um, to manufacture the product um, that's what's eating us up right now, uh, which we would need your help to bring the cost of this down. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay. Um, so the cost right now is around uh, anywhere between $25 to $30 to make it. Um, that's, that's a lot. So we definitely need help with bringing that down. Yeah. Um, um, gotcha. Like I said before, with the, the website, um, you know, we've, We've launched on Facebook in January, but actually like, the website was launched in February. Um, so with that period of time to date, we have around 30 sales. Gotcha. Okay. And it's all over the U.S. And, and were, did you drive traffic to get those or was it viral or how did, how did the people get to your, you know, how did you get to those customers? We've had some friends, family. We've also had um, where we've, you know, uh, did some marketing, you know, through Facebook, Instagram. Um, it, you, if you take a look at some of the videos on Facebook, you'll see they have 20,000 views. Um, all of our marketing um, is up by 40, 50 percent. Um, you know, the what generally people like to see is at least 10 percent of engagements. We have 40 to 50 okay. on every single post. So it's getting a lot of attention, a lot of um, so, you know, traffic. so you bought so some ads on Facebook, ads on Instagram, drove them to your website or did you, did they get, yes. yeah. Um, okay. Yep. Our website as well. Gotcha. And, and so in, in my world, a lot of times, you know, the, I, I ask this question, what, what problem does your product solve? Right. And I, I like to be a problem solver as a marketer and, and address, you know, get people's attention by starting with an attention getting problem. So okay. what, what, wh where, how would you position this as a problem solver? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked that. The, I don't know if you're aware of, but the uh, playground swings, they're 67% of the injuries actually occur from the swings themselves. Um, that's an astronomical amount of children that are getting hurt every single year. Um, so with our product, we are eliminating the amount of injuries that are occurring from the swings. Um, it's also providing more of engagement for the families, um, you know, to spend that quality time at the park. You know, I'm sure that when you are taking your kids or grandkids to the park, what do you normally do? You sit on the, on the bench, on a picnic table. It's not an ideal, comfortable spot. And that's definitely not going to want to keep you at the park. With our product, it's keeping families at the park longer. They're be, they're able to spend more quality time together. So the adults are relaxing in the swing while the kids are off doing what they're doing too. They can, yep. Um, for for example, my fiance and I, uh, we have a two year old. I have an eleven year old as well. Um, so when the two year old um, is wanting to go play, I'll go sit in the sling. He'll go play with her. Then when he gets tired, then he'll come back. Um, he'll sit in a sling, and I'll go play with her. So we take turns. Okay. Um, yeah. So it works in both ways. It's Like I said, it's for children as well. So gotcha. it's a nice little uh, transition going from the baby swing into the bigger kid swing, um, you know, because they're not quite ready and understanding how to swing on their own. Yeah. Um, so they have the supportive back, but they also have the harness for the front that you know keeps them from falling out so being able to have that safety measure is a great quality gotcha beautiful um so the um uh so it it's it works for um it works for parents in terms of solving some problems but it also kids can use it also i mean is is it can it replace you said it, it goes you like to keep the swing with it. I'm, uh, how does that work? What is it? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, I, did, I mean, does it, where does it go on the, um, if there's an existing swing there, it doesn't, yeah. it, does it go yes. on the existing swing? The, yep. So if you like, I can actually um, take the product out of the bag really quick. Yeah. And I can show go you ahead, the, please. To it. So this is the bag that it comes with. Okay. Easy drawstring apart 
the sling just pulls straight out. Yeah. Unravel it. Got so it. You have a nice cushioned headrest. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You also have the straps, the straps for the harness. Okay. You have your ropes with the carabiner hooks right. that hook up to the chain. So the top ones obviously hook like around, you know, the 18 to, you know, the 20 range. Then you have the bottom hooks that hook up to the very bottom area, like the triangle part, um, right in that area. Gotcha. Okay. Then along the back side. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm a really small space over here. Um, so on the back side, if you take a look, has the snaps and then the top part, and you just easily snap it together. Gotcha. Yep. Um, so then after you take it out of the bag, you hook it up to the swing, you take the bag, and you hook it up as well. So now you can use it as a cup holder, key holder, sippy cup holder. Gotcha. Um, it, it's great for snacks, anything really. Okay. Super. Um, all right. So I have, um, I've got some, some great uh, thoughts on this. Number one, it, you, you, your cost of goods relative to the sale price, those numbers aren't working, right? You're, you're, right. you're paying 25 to make it. You're selling it for 60 to 70 $75. Uh, you need to have a four to five time markup. So we right. got to get that cost under $15. Now, right. I happen to have a manufacturer that is very good with fabrics. They make, they, they have a product lines in Walmart with, um, with, um, with fabrics. So, um, and, and so they're, they're physically in China as we speak. So uh, I was just, right. you know, conversing with them yesterday as they're working on another fabric uh, project for me. So, so I, I can, I mean, part of Pitch Investors Live, you know, there's two things. Number one, you're looking for investment and that's something mm -hmm. that we take a look at myself as well as others that are out there. You also need help kind of accessing our Rolodex, manufacturing, distribution, digital marketing, et cetera. And so, so in this particular case, um, we've got, you know, people in our infrastructure uh, that, that we can connect you with. And so what I do generally from here after we do our interview that we're doing right now is mm -hmm. I then ask you for any final kind of marketing materials, any, you know, I, I want to, you know, links to the website, the business plan, to any, you know, amount of information that you might have to see the, you know, um, any kind of search results you've done on patents and stuff like that. But then I start, you know, connecting you to people because, you know, whether I'm involved as a partner or not, I'm going to help you. But, you know, I also like to find out if there's, you know, a way for us to either invest or get involved in some fashion. So, um, so I think I have a team. It's not just me. You know, I've got two kids in the business, as you know, Nick and Brian, yes. I've got infrastructure. And so, uh, we like to um, bring it all together. So I, I'm, I'm going to have you send as much as you can through to me. I'll sit with my group and I'm going to definitely on the manufacturing side, get my people involved ASAP to help you out there because, um, you know, it, it's all a, um, um, a matter of connecting with the right. You still there? I, I may have lost you. Oh, I don't know what happened. Uh, yeah. So what happens is uh, I, I'm getting phone calls. I'm getting emails. I'm getting um, a text. And, it's, and it's, it, it, inter it interrupts with, the, um, uh, with the, the, the feed here. A phone call actually takes me out of the, oh, no. <laughs> out of the situation. So we, we, you know, so my phone's ringing like crazy here this morning. I apologize. That's um, okay. Fine. So anyway, I've got to run. And um, I, I really appreciate uh, what you're doing and good to know you're a neighbor. So maybe we can hook up face to face sometime soon. So, you know, if you could send back through the things we just discussed over the next 10 days or so, uh, we will have a, um, 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 a connection and, um, and see if we can make it 
make it happen. I, I appreciate yes. your entrepreneurial spirit and and um, good luck to you Thanks. and hope hope to meet you someday real soon. I appreciate that. Okay, great. Thank you. Take care. You're welcome. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye.